Hello everybody and in this video I will show you how you can actually automate the entire process of hacking Android and iOS devices. Now in the previous videos we were, we showed how we can actually hack some Linux systems, we also saw how we can hack all Windows systems as well and I also showed you how you can uh, run the attacks over the internet. But right now let's see what we can do with the Android attacks for example. So if I just open up my terminal first type in the root password I will make this larger so you can see and what I want to do right now is go to the Firefox so just open up your Firefox the tool is called Venom uh, I believe or something like that I already have it installed so I will not install it but I will show you from where you can get it it is on github so you just do the simple git clone and then the link.git and you just run the program it is very simple so Venom GitHub right here and you go to the first link as it says right here GitHub Venom Metasploit Shellcode Generator it is a very simple tool to use so just copy the link and git clone it to your directory as we can see download installed the first part you need to do is git clone this link right here then set files execution permissions to so first change directory to the Venom and then sudo uh, change mode minus r plus x uh, all files this basically star right here stands for all files dot sh and also the same do that for python files if you do not have dependencies installed you can set up the set the run the setup dot sh and then after that you can run the main tool so if you do not have all the dependencies installed and if you do not download the files to already be executables you need to follow these four steps or basically these three steps the fourth one is just running the tool so once you do that uh, you should be good to go let me just find where I downloaded it desktop or we can just locate venom simple as that so locate venom or maybe it's not the okay so it is in python files that okay so change home user desktop python files venom so here you will have these same files right here uh, if you already ran the entire installation process all you need to do is run this venom.sh file so you do that with slash venom.sh and this will open up the shellcode generator now the first thing that it will ask you is to input your IP address now if you do not know your IP address you can just check it with ifconfig I know mine so it is 192.168.1.15 oops 15 click here enter and it will open this uh, welcome box right here with the banner Pre press enter to continue we press enter it will ask us which shell codes do we want to generate now as we can see right here it doesn't only generate the Android and iOS payloads it can also, also generate the Linux Windows and multi OS payloads now since we already covered all of the other ones we will just cover the Android ones and iOS so just click here 4 which stands for basically both of these so just click 4 as a category number it will say loading Android iOS agents now since I don't have the iOS uh, mobile phone with me I will go with the Android attack so choose agent number agent number one is the Android so just check here one it will ask you for your IP address once again since it is specifying it in the interpreter as the L host which is your listening IP address which is in my case 192.168.1.15 and right now we specify the shell code the listening port to be 4444 enter payload output name example shellcode so we can name it anything we want let's just name it as they say so shellcode and this will open up this shellcode generator which will generate the the shellcode for us as we can see some of the settings down below are L port and L host that we set and payload that we use is Android Meterpreter reverse TCP now you might notice that you can actually use this uh, payload in the Metasploit framework as well so you do not have to automate this process with this tool if you do not want to it is just a lot easier since it does everything for you you can create the payload with the MSF Venom and then run the multi-handler as a 
uh, as a listener on your Metasploit framework console and perform the same steps as we did Windows exploits for example. So you just set these options right here and check the payload to be Android Metarepto Reverse DCP. So let's see what it asks us right here. Payload stored in home user. Okay, so it made our shellcode. It is in this directory right here as the shellcode.apk which is basically the application which is going to run on our Android device. So what we want to do right here is do we want to set up a multi-handler by default or Apache 2 malicious URL. So what we want to do is basically set up Apache 2. Or you can go with the multi-handler as well. I will go with the Apache 2 right now. And it will start up by default our listening. As we can see right here, it set all the options, the L host, the L port, the the Android Metropolitan Reverse TCP and it is started reverse TCP handler on 192.168.1.15 which is my IP address. So if we go right here and visit my my uh, Apache 2 or my IP address, my Apache 2 web server, so 168.1.15 and we go right here as we can see as, as soon as I uh, type typed in my IP address, it asked me to download the shellcode.apk file. Now, of course, I will not download it on my laptop since it won't really work, but we can see that the download is automated, so as soon as you visit this, the process of uh, downloading is automatic, so you can basically spoof the local area network and make everyone redirect to this page, and maybe some of them will actually download this program, but that is not that smart of an attack, so let us actually, I will now open, oops, I will now open the application from my mobile phone. So let me open up my mobile phone. I will type in the IP address. I will visit it and as soon as I do, it says this type this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep shellcode.apk anyway? Now maybe if you were able to perform some social engineering attack, maybe they will click here OK and shellcode apk downloaded in chrome. Now you can see what I'm doing on my mobile phone, but currently I'm downloading the application. Now the most suspicious part right here is when it asks, do you want to install this application? It will get access to modify system settings, take pictures and videos, modify your contacts, read your contacts, access uh, all of the stuff, record audio, read your text messages, modify or delete the contents of your SD card directly call phone numbers. So that is everything that we can do with this application and if they click install and install the application uh, Playfront does not directly install anyway, it will guess, it will say that the application or the mobile phone doesn't recognize this pro producer of this application, you just click OK and open the application and as we can see as soon as I clicked open we got the interpreter session 1 open. So, in order to check out what your available options are with the Android payload, uh, you just type here, whoops, not get UID, you type here help. Let us enlarge this window so we can see it a little bit better. And you can see we get some of the uh, additional uh, components to this instead of the, that we get some of the more options than in the previous exploits, such as check root, dump call log, so we can get the call log, dump contacts, dump SMS, we can read all of the SMS messages, geo uh, geolocate, send SMS, so we can actually send SMS, if you just type right here, send SMS, it will tell you the syntax for sending the SMS, so the send SMS minus D for the destination number, so you just select the destination number and minus T for the target number, so you can actually send the SMS message from that phone to someone. And this is the T for the uh, SMS body text as it says right here, so this is the message itself. You can also play the audio, which we can do on Windows as well, and all of this is the same as before. Grab screenshot, shell, execute, get UID, so you can see that I really am on a mobile phone. As we can see server username, this is the name of the mobile user currently. And you can do all this stuff uh, if you wanted to. You can record microphone, you can go into shell, local time. So basically these are the more, uh, well basically these are the important commands or the new commands that we didn't cover. All of these are the same as in other exploits. As we can see the 100 commands are right here. And you might want to actually check out some of these. We will not be actually going through them. Uh, there is really no point. They just You just click here the name of one of those and it will give you the syntax to run it and you just run that. 
So that would be about it for this venom.sh tool. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Bye!